In my previous video, I introduced the Windows 365 Cloud PC to you. As you already know Windows 365 is a cloud service that introduces a new way to experience Windows 10 or Windows 11 regardless of location or device. Windows 365 takes the OS to the Microsoft Cloud securely streaming the full Windows experience including all your apps, data, and settings to your personal or corporate devices. You can use your Mac, iPad, Linux device, and Android device to connect to this service. Windows 365 supports Microsoft 365, Microsoft Dynamics 365, Microsoft Power Platform business apps, and more. Windows 365 is built on Azure Virtual Desktop but presents a simpler experience to users. You can choose the size of the cloud PC that best meets your needs, and the pricing is calculated for a user per month subscription. Now we shall take a tour on how to create a Windows Cloud PC and how to log in and use it remotely. First, you need to log in to the azure.microsoft.com website. You can create a free Azure account. You can get 200 United States dollars Azure credit when creating the account, which is valid for the first 30 days. Since Windows Cloud PC is not available for free, you can use these Azure credits to test it. You need to have a credit card or debit card that can make payments online to create the Azure account similar to when creating an AWS cloud account. It won't charge you unless upgrade the services. Since I have an account, I do not proceed with the account creation. It's time to sign into the Azure account. After logging in, you can see the available services, recent resources you used, tools, and useful links. Go through these links and be familiar with the Azure Cloud services. You can find any resource, service, or anything using the search option, which is much easier for newbies. I am using the Windows 365 Enterprise Cloud PC in the marketplace. You can see the available plans, overview, support, reviews, available products in the marketplace service. Since Windows 11 is not yet available you can see and use a preview of it. Select the virtual machine you want to create. On the Create a Virtual Machine page, enter the details as you want.
You need to select the virtual machine carefully to suit your needs. You can see the available resources for the virtual machine and its price. There are many predefined options are available. You can change the virtual machine image if you want. There are many servers and desktop virtual machine images are available in the marketplace. Then, you need to create an administrator account for your cloud PC. Well, it wasn't easy to create a password that was easy to use and complied with the password policy. The next step is selecting inbound port rules. Since you are using this PC through the public internet, you need to allow RDP to connect from your device. The next step is selecting the disk for the virtual machine. You can select a suitable disk as per your cloud PC requirements. And for the encryption, I am selecting the default option. You can create a new disk to store applications and data on your cloud PC from here. The next option is configuring the virtual network interface. I am using the default values for the networking. Management step allows you to change settings for monitoring, identity, Azure ad, auto shutdown, and guest OS updates. I am not going to change any advanced settings here. You can add tags to categorize resources and view consolidated billing. And the final step is to review and create the virtual machine or your cloud PC.
Also, you can download a template for automation if you are creating this PC in an enterprise environment. It may take some time to create the virtual machine. You can see a summary of the progress. and you can view the in-depth details from the right side panel. If you are an enterprise consumer you do not need to do this cloud PC creating process. It will be done by your cloud infrastructure manager. You can set up security settings from the Azure Security Center. You can see the charges for the cloud PC environment. From Microsoft Learn, you can learn about the Azure-related certifications and study for them. You can see the virtual machine deployment is completed. There are several options you can set up. These options are very useful for the IT infrastructure manager. From here you can manage your virtual machine and view configuration. A public IP address is needed to log into this machine from your remote PC or device. That's it. Your Windows 365 Cloud PC is accessible from wherever you are. I am using the Remina remote desktop client to access the created Windows 11 Cloud PC from my Ubuntu PC. If you are a Windows user, you can use the remote desktop connection tool. First, you must set up your privacy-related configurations when you log in in the cloud PC.
Also, you can use Microsoft Azure Android application to control and manage your Azure environment. This is my Android phone, and I am using Microsoft Remote Desktop application to log into my cloud PC. As you have seen, it is much easier to log into the cloud PC using any device from anywhere. But keep in mind that you need a good internet connection to work without lagging and you must pay monthly for the cloud PC. Also, you cannot use this PC for GPU intensive gaming since GPU options are not yet available. Microsoft will include this feature near future. That's all for this video. Thank you.